we've got a multimedia uh, event go, yeah, going yeah. here. So Mark Sublet, Medicine Man Gallery, good friend, uh, great gallery, Native art, historic Native art, contemporary Western art. You're here at Market, you've been running around the last two days. What have you seen? So this is a really interesting market. This is much different than in the last few years. And, and I've been coming to these for decades. The thing I found about this market is there's a lot of more people and there's a lot of buyers. So we deal with a lot of the native artists here, some of the jewelers. And we found that a lot of the material is like gone, and, which is fantastic for them and we're excited for them. And that means that at least people that we're looking at for native arts, especially jewelry and clothing and things, are doing very well. So my feeling is the market's excellent. Yeah. And, you know, the other thing we've got to do here, which is great, is I've rounded up podcasts artists that'll come and do the Art Dealer Diaries so so we can continue to kind of promote this, which you are on. Right, yeah, watch mine, my podcast on Mark's series. Yeah, Art Dealer Diaries, Josh so, was on, it was very interesting. Right. We noticed the same thing yesterday, it was, we got, when, the minute we arrived it was packed beyond belief. We've been going around talking to artists and everyone is selling, well, what do you, what do you think, what do you attribute to, is it a general, inter, you know, deeper interest in the work, or is right. it the economy, what do you think? Well, I think it's a couple of things. For one thing, we have sun. <laughs> so sometimes, really, it sounds silly, but in Santa Fe and the monsoon, sometimes the rain comes early. We have a lot of dancers out here hitting the drums. And so sometimes they only get half days, half days, but yesterday was a full day. Um, I think it's I think it's a dual, some dual things, but I, consumer confidence is up. People feel pretty good about the economy. This is a very positive, feel-good kind of place to come. It's a bucket list kind of place. So people show up for the first and only time maybe in their lives and they have enough money in their pockets that they'll, that they'll buy. And also I think the price structure seems a little more reasonable. Okay. I think, you know, a lot of times you see some very high prices, but I've noticed at this time that things are priced where they want to move things to sell. That's good. That's good. And there's some good dealers back there helping to raise the awareness. Yeah. And the magazine out there. Well, I think, <laughs> but I think that's true, actually. Native American Magazine, the, your magazine, which you sponsored this right. show, was huge, right? It was a massive yeah, thing. It yeah, goes to covered. a lot of people. So we had some clients that came up from Tucson and Las Cruces that had never been here because they wanted an experience. And we said, hey, we're going to come here and they see the magazine. So I think getting it out in forums like this, people become aware of this event. Right. So I've never seen crowds like this in probably 10 years. Yeah, on both days, so that's that's a very good time for Native arts. Things are definitely happening, yeah. so, and it's beautiful work. The work just keeps getting better and better. Oh yeah, yeah, I've spent some money. Okay. <laughs> I'm right. going to continue to spend some money. Great. All right, very All right, good. Thank you, Mark. We'll see you Appreciate in the magazine yes. online. Thanks for and having. And we'll talk soon. Yeah, All definitely. Right, and we're going to come visit you in Tucson. Yeah, so good. Be ready. All right. Ciao. <laughs> All right.